I mean, this is catastrophic if this happened while in flight. And I'm so thankful, and there's definitely some angels watching over uh, my friend that was flying the airplane. If you own an AeroCruise TrueTrack autopilot with these servos, I don't know if they made different styles of servos, but check your servos to see if they have uh, this flat part here and if they only use a couple of set screws I think it's three or four set screws to hold them in this was on my buddy's 172 and they had been flying for an hour when he was doing a run-up and he got fuel and was doing a run-up and just checking his controls just out of habit and good practice and it jammed on him and locked the controls so he was not able to turn turn or loosen it or anything and if this had happened when he was in the air him and his two passengers would definitely have died so if you have a true track or an aero cruise autopilot do this inspection right now i don't want the same thing to happen to you and worse to you know have this happen if you were in flight Compare that to the Trio Autopilot that I put in mine, you'll notice that the stud in the center comes out quite a bit further and there is a cotter pin in here that no matter what happens, if this, the screws that have Loctite on them by the way, if that Loctite on all four of them somehow miraculously came off, then it would be impossible for this arm to come up over this stud and it's a lot taller and there's this on there so I am so thankful that I went with the Trio Autopilot I didn't even think about that other part when uh, or you know the potential failure of this piece on the True Track. so thank thankful 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 that I went with this and I don't have to worry about that arm coming off on every single flight Thank you, Trio. I appreciate you guys. And they don't know that I'm doing this video. They probably don't even want me to do this video because it does kind of point out some potential fatal mistake in the design of the other, uh, the True Track guys, the Aero Crews that now Bendix owns. We have an FAA investigation going on this to see if there can be some sort of update or possibly a recall to change those servos out so they can be safer uh, if there's some sort of ongoing uh, thing they have to do for airworthiness to check those screws or something like that, some sort of AD or something. So anyways, thank you so much. And again, please spread this, pass this around. This is no joke. It really did happen. Uh, and I personally know the guy, and I was watching them take off the first time before this happened. So, holy moly, I got to tell you, this it got me pretty shaken up. And definitely helps reinforce why we do the checks that we do on every single flight, regardless if we've already flown it for an hour. Still check the controls, still go through your checks, everything because it takes one move, one split second, and the entire world would change. My name is Jimmy. This is Jimmy's World. Thank you for watching. Please pass this along to anyone you know uh, that could benefit from it or maybe could help us figure out how to make sure that nobody gets hurt or something worse uh, by making it aware to them. Thank you and bye-bye.